your lifestyle is never going to exceed your level of personal development. There's billionaires who are suicidal. There's self-made entrepreneurs who question the meaning of life. There's professional sports athletes that hate their life. There are champion bodybuilders who die. It doesn't matter what field of life you pursue, what kind of man that you decide to become. If you don't decide to become the type of man who is content with nothing because he is so self-sufficient within his own being, it does not matter what external achievements you accomplish. It does not matter what heights you reach. If your mind has not been trained in congruence with the vision that you have for your life. There's this new rat race, almost. People have began to, to wake up. Not even just people. You guys have began to wake up and understand that working a nine to five is shit. Slaving away to the government is shit. But here is the single problem. Everyone, brother, today is posting these videos on YouTube, getting everyone to start watching their videos and telling them, this is how you make $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 a month. And from a guy who makes money, you watching this video, you make money, you understand that even the money does not make you happy. You have to become wealthy of the mind if you want to be fulfilled and content when you're wealthy financially. It does not matter. It's this new rat race of how can I make money? How can I make money? How can I make money? And then you are trapped in your own, you're, you're trapped in your own cycle of only trying to make money. And then every single time you make progress in that avenue, it leaves you feeling empty because if you are not satisfied in the darkness of your mind, if you are not satisfied when you're isolated alone, the money's not going to fix it, brother. Your lifestyle will never exceed your level of personal development. And it almost seems like personal development is the new rat race, right? Everyone goes through the day and they're tricked because you watch videos like this. You watch videos on YouTube. You listen to podcasts. You watch motivational videos, Instagram, sh uh, sh Instagram reels, YouTube shorts for motivation and entertainment. But when you watch, when you consume this media, it's not difficult. You don't see the difficulty that went into building the man who can put out good content. The difficulty, the effort that went into building the man who can put out a motivational speech that actually drives passion inside of you. And so it's this false sense of security in your mind that the journey is just going to be bliss. That the journey is just going to be full of motivation and fire. But the sad truth is <laughs> the motivation doesn't exist 90% of the time. The fire does not exist 90% of the time unless you create it through sacrificial effort. The only way that you can wake up with a burning desire is to sacrifice more tomorrow than you did today, to continually push yourself harder than last time. It's this fallacy that, you know, what feels good is what is right. But the truth is, brother, the hard thing and the right thing are almost always the exact same. Discomfort should be your green light. Extreme effort should be your green light. Waking up at 425 seems horrible. That means you should run head first towards that. Not taking a day off the gym even if you're not weight training each of those days, just because you want to instill the discipline of going every day, even if you go in for just 30 minutes, it's the intention of going in there, stretching, doing your cardio, even on your off days from lifting. The intention of sticking to your routine, even though it's mundane, even though it's difficult, even though you have no fucking motivation, you still go. You still go. Right now, you might be feeling stuck. 
You might be feeling like you've plateaued. You have made some success. You have made some progress. You had to have. And wherever you are right now, level two, level three, you've made some money. You've, you've developed your physique a little bit. You know where to go, right? You're not just one of these lost motherfuckers who doesn't even have a, a, a direction. Or else you wouldn't be still watching these videos. I would have made your ego hurt too bad and you would have unsubscribed. And if I, make your, if I make your pride hurt to the point where you start getting upset, fucking unsubscribe. Go watch some Bradley Martin or some degenerate shit. This is not the channel for you. But right now, brother, to break through that plateau, the world needs to look at you and say, suddenly, the champion has returned with initiative and vengeance. Stop worrying about the motivation. Stop worrying about the passion. Stop worrying about when it's going to get easy because it's not going to fucking get easy. It's not. Every single day, I used to just think, if I put in a certain amount of effort, eventually it's going to be easy. Everything's going to be good. I'm going to just be taken care of. It doesn't work like that. Every day, it will continue to get harder for me, more difficult the rest of my life. There is no break. And that is the beauty. I see some of you pussies in my comments. And you're like, the road you're walking is unsustainable. No, your fat fucking self is unsustainable. I'm going to fucking scream because of how angry I'm getting. Because I see the potential in you guys. I see the potential in you guys. And no one else has the fucking balls to get on here and tell you to wake the fuck up. Wake up. The masculine brotherhood in today's society has gone to shit. Everyone's just like, oh, no, it's okay, bro. You got to prioritize your mental health. I, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. It, it genuinely, it hurts my heart to see dudes have friends and they don't push them. They don't make fun of them anymore. They do not. That's the reason why everyone has become so soft and so bitchy. It's because you're scared to look at your fucking friend. You're scared to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, you're a fat piece of shit. You're a lazy piece of shit. Why the fuck are you sleeping till 9 a.m.? Unless you're 60 years old. Why the fuck are you sleeping till 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. There's people that don't even wake up early. They're waking up at 6 You've been asleep for three more hours, yet you are uncomfortable with your situation. You want to make more money. You want to have a more attractive, uh, you want to have a more attractive significant other. You want to drive a better car. You want to build your business more. You want to grow your physique more. You want to build a more disciplined mindset. And you're waking up at nine, eight, seven. What the fuck? You can genuinely wake up at any time. You have to be willing to sacrifice. And there's going to be all these people that are like, oh, why are you screaming? Because I fucking care more than the rest of the people who get on here with their little edits and their little screen zoom ins and their LED fucking lights. And they're like, $10,000 a month accelerator. I'm teaching you the actual sauce. It doesn't matter if you're chasing money until you become the man who can actually hold yourself accountable and do what is required to make that money. It doesn't matter if you know how. Just being honest with you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you were rich, you wouldn't be the same person. It's not because you haven't watched the right YouTube video. Because the information is out there. There are dudes that are your exact same age that have watched and consumed the same information as you. Same information. They probably have less skill than you do. And guess what? They are fucking jacked. They are rich. They have a bad ass bitch. And you don't. Oh, you're making a couple thousand dollars a month. You're making $10,000 a month. So is fucking thousands of other dudes, okay? Thousands of other dudes. You have to become the best. If you do not have the fighting initiative to want to be the fucking best, 
You are stuck in this rat race of personal development because you think that one day it's just going to get easy. It's all going to click. You're going to be like those Instagram motivational posts where everything's dark and you're driving around in a black Rolls Royce. And then there's the little caption under that's like when they all doubted you. Yeah, the, they fucking doubted you because look at you. Look at you. What have you done for them to not doubt you? Fuck. It, it, it genuinely makes me so mad. I have people, they DM me. I have people that come through and they're like, man, I've just been trying, but it just keeps getting harder. It's supposed to. Congrats. You're on the right path. If it keeps getting harder, it is supposed to. I woke up this morning again at 425 and it has been like a year. And my brain is like, bro, are we still doing this? Yes, the fuck we are. Because I will not quit. I will not quit. It's been a few days since I posted an aggression talk. It's because I like to sit here and make, I don't want to just put out videos to get views. I want to put out videos that are going to move your soul. Because if I am not making an impact, what does it matter? The money doesn't matter. The YouTube views don't matter. Nothing matters unless I am making an impact because it will leave me empty every single day. And that is why... When people go in my description, they book a call with me for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. If they get qualified, their life is going to change because I build the best programs because I am focused on results. I am results driven. I am your life changing driven. That is what I'm motivated towards, right? But you guys have to stop thinking that one input is going to change your life. It's not. Every single jar has to be full. You have to be ripped. You have to be rich. You have to be rare. You have to be the motherfucker who has mental stamina, physical stamina, communications. You have to be fluent. You have to be sharp. You have to be precise. You have to be organized. You have to be focused. You have to be ambitious. You have to be confident. You have to be certain in your ability because every single area of you is shaved, perfect, and pristine. Doesn't matter if you're rich, if you're fucking fat. Doesn't matter if you're confident, if you're fucking broke. Doesn't matter if you're a gym rat and you've got the best physique in your area, if you're fucking broke. And all you do is go to the gym. You have to have an unbalanced balance. What do I mean by an unbalanced balance? That means in every single area, you are so unbalanced that every single thing that you do is a 10 out of 10. That is an unbalanced balance. You must become an unbalanced, balanced man. You are only balanced in the sequence of being unbalanced. That's the only balance that's in your life is somebody looks at you and they're like, well, fucking ripped, fucking rich, fucking rare, disciplined, unbreakable mindset, wakes up at 425. That's the balance. The balance is someone can look at you and be like, holy shit, I can't beat this guy. That is what you're chasing, brother. That is what you're chasing. Don't let fucking social media tell you otherwise. Don't let all these fucking gurus tell you otherwise. You have to create the fire inside of yourself. Strength comes from resistance. Resisting the urge to go back to sleep. Resisting the temptation to watch porn. Resisting the temptation to go do drugs like a pussy. God. All these dudes, they think they get a little ego because they can fucking sniff some coke. Fucking looking like a bitch with your long ass fingernails because they can pack a, you know, a, a three five into a blunt. You're a bitch. You're a, you're genuinely a bitch if you're still giving into the vice of drugs. No one cares that, no one knows your pain. We all had fucking pain. We all had struggle. You're just telling the world that you're a fucking vagina because you can't deal with it and put that pain into effort. So you have to roll up your problems in a joint like a pussy. That's what women do. All the girls that I see, they just fucking smoke. If I see a dude that smokes, no fucking respect for you. And that's coming from somebody who used to smoke all day, every single day. Before work, before the gym, before I went to school, you know, before I did home, all, everything, right? Pussy. I was a pussy. Tiny little balls. And that's how I would describe you if you're still partaking in that shit. Guys, your lifestyle is never going to exceed your level of personal development. Stop focusing on the outcome and focus on the daily tasks, the daily habits, the daily structures. That's what the 545 method is. There's no change. I've been doing the exact same thing. 
I've been doing the exact same thing. People are like, well, what do I do next? Keep fucking doing it. That's the whole point of this. It's the consistency that separates the elite level operators from just the normal little online people, right? Every single fucking day, I continue to hold myself to the same standard, push myself even further. That's it. That's the secret right there is to do it every day. Doesn't matter if I'm tired. Doesn't matter if I go on a vacation. Doesn't matter if I go on a trip. 425 wake up morning routine. Start my five daily tasks. Get them done. Help as many people as I can. Push myself to the limit and do all that can be done each day. That is what I'm doing. Learning, evolving, operating, staying at the highest level of frequency because I'm pushing myself and making myself do difficult tasks that I don't want to do. I'm in a sacrificial state. And that's the only way that I'm able to serve others. Because if I can't even do what is difficult, then I'm going to be trapped in here. Trying to work out all my little internal problems. And then I can't fucking solve anyone else's. Aggression Talk 53. Your lifestyle will never exceed your level of personal development. Push yourself further, brother. And the more that it hurts, the more congruent you are with where you want to go. Because the pain equals the amount of growth that's going to happen. I love you boys. Stay aggressive.